All right, ladies, welcome to another beautiful video. And I just have a message for all my ladies out there, especially if prosperity and abundance and wealth and riches is your goal. There is no wealth, there is no riches, there is no prosperity, there is no creation of wealth that lasts for generations and lifetimes without the presence of the divine feminine. I can pretty much guarantee you that if you are not in connection with your divine feminine essence, that is the main reason why you are not wealthy why it's hard for you to hold on to money why it's hard for you to even attract money from people giving you money and men that give you money but also the money that you make in your business or in your work or whatever the case is it just seems hard to retain money and the main reason about this is a lot a huge portion of wealth itself is the energy of the divine feminine and if you think about the literal richest people in society the presidents the leaders of this world the people that run the world without you even knowing all of these people whether you believe it or not and i've heard some things behind the scenes they worship some form of a goddess archetype and there's a people that i know that are in the higher ups and stuff like that they will literally say like no these people in power literally will worship the goddess archetype because they know they cannot have access to the wealth without the goddess archetype and without the goddess the goddess blessing the goddess the i keep on wanting to say guard the it's like the there's a guard around your wealth if you don't honor a goddess and the goddess could be anybody whether it's aphrodite oshun erizuli freda um lilith all of these goddesses, they really have a huge portion to do with wealth and abundance. And you don't have to literally honor a goddess and worship a goddess. As a matter of fact, women really aren't supposed to necessarily worship goddess in the way that men are supposed to worship goddesses. Men are actually supposed to worship us and I got the download at least that if anything, women pay respect and honor men, like male figures, and then men are supposed to worship a goddess. That's the download that I got. But regardless, what we're really supposed to do is to honor that feminine goddess energy within us to figure out what portion and what expression of the goddess energy wants to express itself in us. And as women, ooh, I get chills. Like as women, when we embody that form of the goddess energy, then that's when we actually get our wealth because these goddesses, this feminine archetype, she is that center of creation. And be fruitful and you will multiply. The woman is fruitful, the woman is fertile, the woman is able to multiply that energy and all these occult people and the occult is nothing bad it's just the hidden right the hidden things the hidden resources the hidden energy the secret power the people that you know know these things that are not passed down these people always know that in order to access anything in order to access anything they have to honor the goddess first and they've downplayed that in society. They let us, you know, oh my God, you know, it's just the man, it's just the man. There's a reason why they want to give everybody the idea that you just have to honor God. You just have to honor a God and that's your access to wealth. But they have hidden and they have decoded and they have been sneaky with the divine feminine. If you even study Christianity and Catholicism and stuff like that, Ashira, there, God had a wife and God's wife was named Ashira and she was the divine feminine counterpart of God. She was worshipped equally to God and sometimes even more. Mary birthed God. Without Mary, there would be no God. The Holy Spirit itself is the goddess and the goddess always comes first the waters of the deep that poured over the earth these are all feminine energies and archetypes so notice in every single religious practice whether you go from africa to the east to the west all of us honor the feminine principle historically speaking in our religious sectors literally i know people that are in voodoo and stuff of that nature if they don't honor the goddess they have no wealth <laughs> 
and they realize this consciously but most people they don't understand that that's the reason why you're not wealthy the reason why you're not reeling in the dough is because you haven't honored the goddess within you you don't necessarily know what kind of goddess you are the best way to learn is to learn more about the different goddesses take the course awakening inner goddess go on that journey to figure out what goddess archetype are you like for me recently I feel really called to wear pink a lot and I wear the color pink a lot and I talk in pink and I wear pink and I just radiate this pink energy often and I was told that a goddess that really wants to work with me is Arizuli Freda and she represents the energy pink she's a Venusian goddess so she's very much so bougie and you know very much so like I am worthy of everything she doesn't just she's receiving men left and right and she's just she knows her worth she's a little snooty <laughs> and also the goddess Sekhmet the lioness right I've been called to work with her but these are just energies these are aspects of things that exist inside you but if you don't pay attention and you don't honor those different aspects inside of you you wonder why you're not wealthy and why you're not prosperous because the feminine is supposed to be that creative force that will give you the ideas that will nourish you that will give you that sense of self-worth to know that it is okay for you to charge what you need to charge that it is okay for you to go after your dreams because it will give you the confidence and that innate sense of I know who I am I know who I am I know my worth and not because of anything that I did it's just simply who I am in this moment my existence is enough you see this I'm making symbols and stuff <laughs> this probably me Woo! I'm getting chills I'm getting chills right now as I'm speaking okay okay like somebody needed to hear this right now and I needed to hear this again too <laughs> if you want wealth and if you want to radiate wealth you need to honor woo, woo, you need to honor the goddess within and sometimes by just saying that and taking the moment in this space to like, I honor the goddess within me. I honor the goddesses that walk with me. I honor my mother. Ooh. I honor my mother. I honor my mother's 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 mother's. And just saying that and walking in that that is the missing key so i'm actually going to probably do a meditation after this be on the lookout for that i don't even know what symbol i just did i gotta look that up <laughs> but yeah my ladies like that's the missing key if you're not wealthy and you're doing all the things and you're not seeing the results it's because you're not in tune with your divine feminine energy one start researching different goddesses research different goddess archetypes get to know them get to know their stories and once you'll once you'll see when you do that is there is similarities between you and other goddesses and these stories that you'll hear from other goddesses you'll you'll notice certain things that you've experienced before or you'll see certain patterns and then once you kind of see those goddesses just embody their traits and if you want to take it a step forward maybe you create a little altar where you add their favorite colors their favorite things a picture of them and you honor that part of you and you honor that goddess within you and then another way to honor the goddess within you is to honor your creativity so to do creative artistic things so to dance if you need to dance to draw if you want to draw to brainstorm to listen to music that makes you feel good getting in tune with the creativity of things that helps you in, in interact with your divine feminine frequency three having a relationship with your sexuality because sexuality is that creativity it's that fertility inside of you right it's that fertile creative life force energy that exists and animates our entire bodies so having a good relationship with your sexuality not just something that you have to flaunt for others but something that you truly experience inside of your body like you know what it means to breathe that energy up and down your spine you know what it means to meditate on your sacral chakra you know what it means to feel delicious when you eat food 
and it tastes good you know what it means to really taste that flavor you know what it means to really slow down and to take your time and to increase your sensitivity take the 21 day divine feminine challenge if you don't know what I'm talking about it's in RGC for a reason you want to take that time to do those things because when the more you do those things the more you are honoring the goddess within you I'm keep on making these random I don't know what Simba there I'm being channeled right now obviously I'm being channeled right now honestly because I don't I don't even know what's going on there's something I have to meditate after this. There's definitely the goddesses that want to work with me right now. They're like, yes, 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 yes. She gets it. Yes, yes, yes. Keep on telling them. Keep on telling them. That's where your wealth is. And you want to make decisions from that divine feminine place. Sometimes it's like, what would the most divine feminine version of me do? Would the divine feminine version of me accept this man in my life? Would the divine feminine version of me accept that payment? Would the divine feminine version of me allow certain people into my frequency? Would the divine feminine version of me, that goddess who honors herself, would she allow certain things, people, places in her life? She wouldn't. So when you are tested and you make decisions from that place that is in alignment with your divinity, that's when the wealth comes. When you have a gut feeling about something, but then you go against that gut feeling, boom, that's where your wealth disappears. Just as much as these goddess energy, just as much as she can give you the wealth, she can also take it away. And notice that the men who actually honor women, the men who honor women, the men who give to women, these are the, the men who are actually the most blessed. They're able to keep money as well as make money, right? They have both of those archetypes. And even men who, there's men in my life who will literally just give me money, especially spiritual men. There's literally men in my life who will give me money every single week as offerings have literally told me, no, I honor the goddess within you. I appreciate you. And they're not giving me money for anything just to give it because they know that when they honor the goddess, the goddess will bless them with wealth. Don't listen to these men who hate women, who don't actually love women, who actually feel weird about giving to a woman. Don't listen to men like that. These are just hurt men. These are just men who are hurt. These are just men that are out of alignment with their own divinity because if they actually knew, they would know that if they actually want wealth, they have to honor a goddess. There is a reason why a lot of super successful men, most of them usually have a woman next to them because without that feminine energy, they would not get that far. Behind every man is an even more powerful woman. They don't say that just to say it, it's a real thing. <laughs> without your feminine energy, without your feminine essence, their wealth goes away, it depletes. So you need to understand who you are, who you are giving your blessing to. And you wanna make sure you're giving your blessings to men who honor you and respect you and love you and give you stuff and are not like weirded out by giving to the woman. These are men who honor their mothers. These are men who honor their sisters. These are men who honor women just to honor women in general. And when it comes to the women that they are romantically dealing with, they will always love her. There is a reason why my, the men I, I date, they have a tendency to be successful. But when I really date and focus on a man, next thing you know, his career goes, it skyrockets because he needs that energy. There's one guy I know in particular, the moment that I got out of his life, literally his career started being all stagnant because they need the feminine energy and the feminine principle, the feminine blessing. You need your own feminine energy and your own feminine blessing to have access to your wealth. But that's what they don't tell us. They try to cover that up. That's why we don't know anything about goddesses. That's why we know nothing about connecting with nature. That's why we know nothing about honoring the goddess archetypes within us because if we did, we would not let certain behaviors be a thing. If we did, we would know our worth and naturally, women can attract abundance and prosperity a whole lot easy. If you're just trying to attract wealth and money and prosperity doing the divine masculine, you're gonna work very, very hard. It's gonna be like a constant uphill battle, challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge 
but when you honor the feminine next thing you know the easiest way possible for you to get to what you want actually starts coming into your life take the course awaken your inner goddess take the 21 day um, divine feminine embodiment challenge straight embodiment no chaser straight embodiment take psychic secrets of seduction meditate on the goddess within you ask for the goddess that walks with you ask her ask her to reveal herself to you see who your mother is honor your mother I know a lot everybody has the best relationship with their mom but honor the mother that's in her honor the goddess that's within her love on her love on her I said love to my mom I said love to my mother I said love to my mother's 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 mothers I said love okay you see how I went straight to the left the left is your feminine side I said love to my matriarchy Woo! I send love to my matriarchy. I send love to my ancestors. I send love to my feminine ancestors. I awaken the power within you. I awaken the goddess energy within you. I awaken the wisdom within you. I awaken the truth and the light and the energy within you. I awaken the power, the darkness within you. I awaken the sexuality, the fertility, the creativity, the blessings. I let it roll into me. Ashe. And when you walk with that, there's a certain level of confidence that cannot be taken away from you. There's power, there's magnetism. You walk in this world knowing your worth and then people pick up on that in your frequency because it's all frequency. Everyone can pick up on how you feel about yourself. But when you're connected to that side of yourself, wealth is yours. But all right, peace.